What's happening everybody? I'm Steve and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV. Today's video is going to be a very short one, but it's going to be my impassioned plea to the middle school and high school kid who has the ambition to be a good drummer in the future. And I say that the best way that you can set the foundation for that is to be in marching band. Now, before we start the video, I'm going to put this picture right here for everyone to laugh because that is me back in high school playing tenors. That's about mm, 70 pounds and over 20 years ago. The inspiration from this video came from a lesson that I was doing with one of my students. His name is Cody. Shout out Cody and Go Volunteers. In that lesson, we were doing uh, rudimental stuff. Uh, Cody is one of my, what I call non-traditional students. I think that a lot of people, when they hear that you are a private drum teacher, they think that you spend all day like teaching Tom Sawyer. And I have taught Tom Sawyer a bunch, but that's not what I do usually do. If you want to see what I usually do for the majority of my teaching time, go watch my new uh, series called Teaching Bryn How to Play Drums, which is where I take this 11-year-old who's never played drums before, and you get to watch her on her journey from learning from just learning how to hold the drumsticks and hopefully all the way to like performing songs on the channel. That's what I do most of the time, uh, you know, beginner and intermediate lessons. Cause uh, let's be honest, like if you're good, most of the time you don't need lessons, but sometimes you do. So a lot of my non-traditional students who are students who can play like this guy, Cody, he's good. He's really good. He's been in bands. He's gigged. I think he's probably even recorded a record or two, but all of us, we reach a plateau, we hit a wall and I'm glad for it because that means that those uh, cats get to come to me and I get to do lessons that aren't my normal thing. My normal bag is again, more like what I'm doing in the teaching Bryn how to play drums. If you haven't watched that series, go watch that. It's really good. It's like the most wholesome thing I've ever done on the channel. But uh, during this lesson, with Cody, we were uh, doing uh, paradiddles and, and stickings in general and uh, kind of showing him how you can utilize that for your grooves and your drum fills. And at some point in the lesson, I just said, Cody, like, if you would have just been in marching band, you wouldn't need to pay me all this money for me to teach you this stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm very glad that he's paying me that money because uh, man needs it these days. But that was the inspiration. All you kids out there, I give this same speech to uh, my students who seem to be uh, serious about the instrument. There is no better way to ensure a higher probability of being good at this stuff than being in marching band. Now, I know, I know, the uniforms are kind of lame and they're very uncomfortable. And unfortunately, there's that like stereotype of like band nerd, but like, man, I'm band nerd for life. I, I played for four years in my high school and I played for four years in my college. Also, for all you kids out there looking for scholarships, when I was in college, and I know not a lot of schools do this, but when I was in college, they paid for, I got a book voucher for being in the marching band. That's a little something, a little hint out there for you parents. I also taught drumline, uh, high school drumline for 13 years. So I'm very immersed in that culture and that scene and that style. And I can tell you that I use those concepts and those ideas every time I sit down behind a drum set. And the, the, the non, non-traditional students that I've got over year, that I've gotten over the years, one of the first things that I usually end up doing with them is teaching them double strokes and accents and flams and, and paradiddles and all that shit. If you would just do that now, middle school and high school kids, in the future, you won't need it. Now, I wanted to address like that whole plateau wall thing. Man, I've done the same thing. I've hit a plateau and just be like, I hate everything about what I do. And uh, up until a couple months ago, I lived in a, uh, a college town, which is a pretty major university. And anytime I would hit, hit that wall, I would just go to the university. And they always had kind of a, a carousel of uh, drum professors that would just come through. And whatever professor that was there, I would take lessons from. I'd do that regularly. Uh, the last one I did was this dude that, 
that had just got off the road with the Blue Man Group, and some of the things that he he showed me blew my mind. And of course, there's the 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 story of Neil Peart, right? Neil Peart, the greatest, one of the greatest drummers of all time. You know, two thirds in the way is into his career, decided to take lessons as well. But getting back to kids out there. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. There are so many famous drummers that have been in marching band. Uh, the one that everyone always talks about is like Chad Sexton from 311 because he like March drum corps. John Stanier from Helmet and Battles. Uh, he marched some core as well. But there's just so many of them. I mean, Tommy Lee, when he went back to college in that horrible reality show, he was in the marching band as well. So very short video. Uh, I, I, one of the reasons I don't do a lot of like marching band stuff on the, on the channel is cause like EMC productions exists and he pretty much has the market, uh, cornered on that stuff. But I can tell you this, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to have to learn that stuff later, cause it's all important things. All of those rudimental things make you work. Oh, one other thing. Marching band teaches you how to practice. One of the things I have to do with uh, my beginner to intermediate students is like teach them how to practice. The worst student that I have to deal with isn't the kid who's never played before because I actually prefer a kid who's never played before because that means they don't have any bad habits and I can teach them the correct way from the beginning. The worst student that I have or that I have to kind of deal with is one that's never done any kind of extracurricular activity, a sport, uh, cheerleading, dance. I've had a bunch of kids who's done BJJ, anything like that. The kids who've never done any of that stuff, any of those activities that require intense practicing. Those are the kids that I have to like teach how to practice and the repetitiveness of it. I'm taking a thing and doing this one thing over and over and over and over until you have it perfect. My kids who have, you know, done cheerleading or dance or, uh, you know, played a sport, they already know how to do that. And here's the thing about marching band. You will get so much practice in because you get mandatory practice. Like, look, man, teenage kids out there that I have to bitch and complain at to get to practice. If you're in marching band, you have no fucking choice. You just have to. You know, uh, a, a competing drum line, which is always kind of the more serious drum lines, they practice together 10, 12 hours a day of just doing hand stuff, right? And your hands just become so good. Now, the one downfall of my marching band kids, who are only marching band kids, when they move over to drum set, then they have the whole problem of fit, getting their feet to work. So that's the one thing that a marching band uh, experience does not get you ready for is your feet stuff. But that's, you know, if your hands work, that stuff kind of, it's a little easier to, to integrate that. But marching band teaches you how to practice. It teaches you all of these skills that transfer wonderfully to the drum set. Like if you talk about like a groove, like uh, 50 Ways You Leave Your Lover, right? That's one of the, you know, it's kind of a Mount Rushmore groove that everyone talks about. Well, one of the groove, one of the, the sections of that groove is a left-handed paradiddle between the a hi-hat and the snare drum. There's just a just one example of how the things that you will learn in marching band that will make your drumming better and become better easier. And you know how we like making things easier. And then one last example or one last reason for why you should be in marching band is like you get to be in a room full of kids that like what you like. All of the musicians are in the marching band. You know how many like high school bands have like grown out of just being in the marching band together? So you you have this activity where you're automatically in with a bunch of kids who already like what you like. Similar likes. That's how you become friends, right? And you get to make memories. I can tell you I'm 45 in May. And I still remember that senior year after going to all these competitions from my freshman to just senior year and getting second and third place. I can tell you at the one band competition where we won first place. Four years and I finally won first place. And it was actually from this year that this picture was taken because I was play I played tenors uh, that year. 
Man, I tell you what, all you marching band kids now, you all don't know about it like in the 90s. Those tenors I'm carrying right there weigh a fucking ton. I weighed about 150 pounds right there, and those 90s marching band drums, like those tenors probably weighed like 50 or 60 pounds. But memories, I still think back, and I can tell you the names of everyone, almost almost everyone that was in the drum line, and how happy we were to, to, to have fought in the trenches of marching band warfare and to finally won first place friends memories and most importantly oh no although those things are very important i don't want to say it like that the most important thing about marching band it will make you a better musician it will give you a better uh, a, a strong foundation to build upon it's fun you become friends with people sometimes lifelong friends and you make those memories. And that's what life is about, is making memories, right? So, if you don't want to have to pay money later on to have some bald asshole online teach you how to do a paradiddle, be a marching band. Keep practicing until it's easy.